Hi loves, it's Michelle aka Nyele Chronicles back with another video. So today we're going to be having a chilled, not hair related video or DIY. So I actually get several questions from people or just friends about my piercing and was it painful and such. So I decided this is a good idea. I sit down and walk you through what a piercing basically entails a body piercing i have a belly ring so i have a belly ring i have a big stomach don't worry i have a belly ring and then i also have a tattoo so i just want to walk you through like the process and everything so the first step is go to a professional that means don't go to these hawkers that are in town that usually pierce ears and all that don't do that just go to a professional by a professional i mean just look for somebody who does tattoos the people that do tattoos are usually the ones that do body piercings so this means nose ring this where else do people pierce belly ring and then where else this also this like don't go to anybody to pierce you that especially if you have sensitive skin like mine because I have sensitive skin and those people who get irritated when you get in contact with fake earrings, let me call them fake earrings. So when I get in contact with fake earrings, I usually get irritated and then I start swelling and all that. So yeah, go to a professional. Personally, I had mine done in Akuru back in 2013. My belly ring that is. I had it done in 2013. So I went to Prime Plaza. For those of you who know Nakuru, I went to Prime Plaza. There's a tattoo place there in third floor. That's where I went and got my piercing. It costed me, back then it was still expensive, it costed me 2000 I think it was 1800 or 2000 Back then it was expensive, but I think now it's cheaper. If I'm not wrong, it's a little bit cheaper. It may be a thousand bob or 1500 so yeah that is the price okay depends where you go there's somewhere that they'll charge you even five thousand it just depends where you go as long as it's a professional and the place looks clean that is so yeah in terms of cost mine costed 1800 so what i did before i went i actually went with my sister myra the one who i always do videos with i went with her and then she she was there with me all throughout so what you need to know like the piercing process is quite not so painful what they do is they insert a needle that needle has a screw so they insert it through they insert they use it to pierce and then they now come and insert the, the belly ring the belly ring that is they come and insert it and then they screw it back so after that you're actually usually told don't go swimming because the fluorine and what that is in water is going to affect your belly from healing and it will also just affect it generally so you're not supposed to go swimming or else yeah you're not supposed to go swimming the first month so in terms of healing process you make sure that you don't sleep on your stomach the first day the first few days you know the first day actually you don't sleep on your stomach but after that you can sleep you're going to be feeling just a little bit pain and then also don't wear high waist trousers like the one i have on don't wear high waist it should either be way up here or below so that it doesn't press your navel and because if it does it's going to be painful and uncomfortable so that is one thing what else can i tell you in terms of healing then also don't remove it and then you know the advantage of going to a professional is they're going to give you an original ring so it won't be that so it won't be corrosive and it won't react with you and yeah, it's basically just a good quality in terms of aftercare for me for my case all i did was i used to use the earbud and warm water warm salty water so i used to clean my belly ring every day in the morning and in the evening just that that is all you need there are people who use spirit and all that the person who pierced me told me to just use salty water and an earbud to clean around that area so in terms of healing i can say like mine completely healed after six months there that's when i felt like it's completely healed like even when you remove the ring you don't feel it 
being painful it look completely healed you don't it's and like how people usually imagine after some time you just feel it's normal it's like you don't have a piercing so yeah after six months that's when it was healed like the skin grew back and all that so yeah for me it was six months the healing process varies depending on the person don't wear belts don't wear belts with buckles because when you do it's going to that ring is going to tuck itself in the belt and then it will pull it will pull it will be it's super painful by the way it's super painful when that happens that's why if you notice i don't wear belts i just wear trousers like that so let's go to the tattoo right in terms of the tattoo i only have one tattoo i'm thinking of getting another one done here but it's in the process um skeptical and all that i want the tattoo to be a memory for my mom for those of you who don't know my mom died in 2016 so i want a tattoo so that it reminds me of her and everything i want to get it here so this other tattoo of mine is the serenity prayer if you don't know the serenity prayer it's just a prayer that we used to say back in high school i was going through a rough time and i decided to get it because i wanted to remind myself constantly that god is still there with me and that everything that happens in life happens for a reason the serenity prayer basically says god grant me the serenity to accept the things i cannot change it's long and that's what my tattoo says in terms of tattoo i can tell you one thing getting a tattoo isn't that painful but if you get tattooed where there's bones like if you notice mine let me just show you mine is up to here the ribs so, so where the ribs are it's hella painful painful as in a, a kind of pain you cannot explain but it's also bearable i'm not trying to scare you guys it's bearable so yeah that's all i think i had or oh, in terms of healing for, for the tattoo the first day they usually put that they put that paper that clear oh yeah it's clear fling it's cling fling kayo cling fling they usually put that on your tattoo and then when you get home you're told you avoid water touching there for a while so i used to just like dry bath you dry bath so that you make sure water doesn't touch there and then i had to apply vaseline and then it reaches a point whereby the tattoo starts peeling off and when it peels off your advice don't scratch it because if you scratch you're going to form a scar so yeah it's important that you don't scratch your tattoo when it's healing don't scratch it's going to be itchy it's going to be itchy that's why they tell you to do so when it itches you just you know the way those mamas usually tap their heads when their weaves are itching just tap it and then always make sure that you have vaseline vaseline with you so that you apply it on that area until it finishes peeling it will peel off and then all the new skin is going to grow so after that i think that is when you stop applying the vaseline yeah that is basically it so if you want to get a tattoo and you fear pain get it in a place where there are no bones because where the bones are it's hella painful as i've mentioned so yeah in terms of caring i've just said you need vaseline i saw when my sister got her tattoo my sister has a tattoo my big sister when she got her tattoo she was told to use glycerin and yeah vaseline those two but for my sake i only use vaseline so i guess it also just depends on the person you go to each person has their own care tips but this is what basically worked for me and i thought i'd share it with you so maybe when i get my next tattoo i'll definitely bring you guys along yeah that is all i had for today if you have any questions in regards to tattoos piercing all that just ask me don't forget go to, to a professional yeah so if you found this video helpful and you have any more questions feel free to leave them in the comment section slide in my dm inbox me on facebook can you just feel free ask me i'll try as much as possible to answer and then give this video a thumbs up like share with a friend who is about to get a piercing or a tattoo and i'll see you again in my next video